what's up guys good morning it's a beautiful what's today it's a beautiful morning and i'm pleased to be here with you guys how are you guys doing i hope you slept well and i hope your afternoon is good in case you're watching me in the afternoon and i hope your evening is also beautiful and your day went well okay guys so you're welcome back to today's video and you're welcome back to Victoria and emmy's channel yeah i'm literally just waking up and um um i have a whole lot to do today okay today is one of those days in which we have to we have to restock our house <coughs> like yesterday we went to the market you know to buy some stuff like tomato because tomato now is actually very cheap like we bought one basket of tomato four thousand naira let me sit down because and then we got a, a whole lot of pepper and some stuff now the reason why we do that is that since i'm actually just checking the lens since we have fridge and freezer yeah we do preserve this yeah so i actually parboil the tomato and then preserve it so it stays for a whole long time even if we want to do sauce we want to do small stew we want to you know just put the tomato into anything to just you know um do a fast cooking you know <coughs> we use that to you know do that and it's actually very simple when we've actually parboil and prepare these things and actually keep it okay so that's why we went to the market yesterday we bought a whole lot of of them the market we went yesterday was orange market i didn't actually carry my camera i would have humor a little yeah and uh, we bought a whole lot of stuff and that market is usually a little cheaper than other markets yeah it's actually in Nassau state so we had to journey down there and get the stuff in that market because it's usually cheaper all right so let me show you some of the stuff that we got so we've already prepared them this morning it's just for us to wash them and then go blend and then cook it literally so you're gonna be thinking we're doing party we're not doing party we're just doing these things to preserve them okay especially tomato and so that even if you want to make some stew you can quickly grab it and then you know just go ahead with it so let me turn the camera around this is um onion you know guys onion is actually very expensive in nigeria now we got onion we got irish potato and orange and this is it and this is the pepper we got plus this and then we've got this other or orange color to um, um, pepper and then we got this long pepper <coughs> we got this green we got this green bell pepper this one is we're not going to be using it for the stew it's just to garnish with it literally and then I think here is dry pepper it's just for keep and then we got a whole lot of garlic and ginger we've already peeled them yesterday and we're not gonna be using all of this dough we're gonna be blending it and keeping it inside the freezer you know for future use and then we got shombo you know people call it shombo red bell pepper yeah so for the stew so we're literally going to be taking all those things down okay so wash and then and then go and blend so i'm sure you'd love to come with us okay please come and help me open the door Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go there. So 
celebrities. <laughs> okay, who celebrity does not does not claim his or her house? I'm not serious. So we're actually washing the stuff downstairs because of course there's not too much of space in the kitchen and if we have to wash them in our kitchen the whole place will be filled with water so since there's um joseph you don't leave what they do now go the press phone see the musician what's up guys <laughs> so this is a hold on this is the tomato we got yesterday i, I think this tomato is four thousand baht. yes like we got this the full basket the full basket for four thousand naira you see how cheap that is <coughs> so we just had to buy it and this particular tomato is called um what do they call this tomato i don't know um okay <coughs> actually um the guys the men they've actually gone to uh, hey india how are you they've actually gone to blend the tomato and all the pepper and stuff and we've actually been boiling it so i just wanted to show you guys when the stuff has actually gone a little far so we're actually in our backyard and this is how it is The musician <laughs> this is a husband material <laughs> okay so this is how far it has gone 
the thing is that we were, we're also going to be sieving it, be sieving the rest water because we can't preserve it like this. And this is, say this one, we're still going to be sieving it out. So it's just still remaining. Look at this one. We're still going to be boiling this one. So that's just the only one that is remaining right now. For now, I think we'll. Let's. So, fun fact in Honduras, and I'm really, really grateful. I'm happy for these guys. They're actually doing a great job here, honestly, because if it was just me. <laughs> So we've actually got the nylon. Yeah, bring it to. Where should we go? Where's Bobby? Bring that. Once you've gotten the nylon, that we're going to use to pack these things, and it has to be the tomato has to be very dry, okay, so that it will stay for a longer time. Hey, Hanchi, you hit her head on the wall, ma. It's a hard job, but after after all of the hard job, um, the hand is usually it's usually good because it's gonna make everything easy. Cooking is gonna be easy. We just go to the market and buy uh, meat, and then stew is ready. So we don't need to like come and boil the tomato again and all of that and since we have enough much um we're gonna go a, a whole long way yeah come my baby girl Beverly say hi <laughs> she's ever ready yay <laughs> yay <laughs> And look at this one. Hey <laughs> Beverly is throwing a potato out through the through the balcony. Beverly don't know whether we buy this thing with money. Huh? We buy this thing with money. This one needs to see everything. Let's go. Try to be very dry. Well the small water for us. Okay guys, so this is actually how it is. You see how how it has become a paste already. Yeah? So I'm actually still going to be sieving it. I'm actually gonna be putting it in the sand bag which we washed already and I'm gonna be putting it there, you know, to see. Alright, so that's all of the small water come mentioned. All the small water. Yeah? would actually um it will be very very dry although it is dry but it will be, it will be more dry it will be like a paste literally so that's what i'm actually doing right now the kitchen is pretty dark so i'm going to be showing you when i want to portion them by tomorrow okay okay it's enough work but we're going to enjoy it because it's going to serve us for a long, long time. Oh, what? Hey guys, what's up? Good afternoon. Okay, so I'm actually just waking up, yeah? Right now, it's asleep. <laughs> when, I just lie down, when I just lie down, like, I don't even know when sleep would just come and before you know it I'm, I'm sleeping already okay all right guys so all right my nose has healed a little more uh, now i've actually changed the start to smallest tiny one okay guys so let's go to business while we're here so this is our tomato like this is literally all of the tomato 
in this sack so that's plenty one full basket of tomato you were actually seeing mm, this is all, all that I've got from it so this is actually ready to be preserved So after we, we boiled it yesterday, when we had to turn it into this sack bag to see more. Yeah, so that so that it will dry up all of the water. Okay guys, so okay, so this is the tomato. Yeah. It looks really good red and this is a paste basically see how thick that is okay so what we did is that we bought this nylon this nylon is used to preserve your ice block you know, people who sell ice blocks use this nylon to tie ice blocks. So, we actually buy it and then we double it. Okay guys, so the, the job is complete for this um, tomato preserving, pres preservation, yeah, and this is at them, yeah, this is one, two, three, four, okay, I hope you have seen that, yeah, okay, so this is how I portion them, okay, so even if we want to make stew or sauce, we can just bring it down and just take a little out of this one or take a little and it stays for so freaking long yeah it stays for so long and that's it that's how we actually preserve our tomato okay you might be asking why did we have to put in the sack and sieve the water because if we did not sieve the water it wouldn't have been this small it would have been still bogus it might have contained six more nylon which is basically water so it's just it would have been when we want to prepare it or cook it that's when we have to be cooking the water to dry so we don't want that yeah so that's why we had to sieve it sieve the water out just a little water that was remaining out you saw that the tomato was already you know dry but we need to just still remove it so that's it that's the end of this video okay this is the end result of those plenty tomato you saw us washing outside and cooking outside and all of that now it has to go inside the freezer or the other freezer okay so anyone i'm going to be putting two here i'm going to put in two there okay so that's it thumbs up this video and subscribe and i'll see you again guys bye <laughs>